At Sofix 2018, there are very, very few new vehicles, but Oshkosh have brought their latest vehicle to the show. And Mike, can you tell us what, first of all, is it called? It's called the Special Purpose All-Terrain Vehicle. It's, a, uh, it's the lightest vehicle in the Oshkosh portfolio, and it's designed primarily for special operators. Um, it's very, very transportable, very mobile, and very fast. So really, you can now provide customers with a complete range of vehicles, from this vehicle right up to the heavy equipment transporter. All the way from very light to very, very heavy. And this vehicle is CH-47 transportable, both in the, in the helicopter and as a sling load. It can go in any number of helicopters. And so it has great transportability as well as mobility over very complex terrain. And what is the power pack? A diesel could automatic transmission? It has a uh, Allison transmission, automatic. It has the same um, Duramax engine that our JLTV has that's, that's now proven reliability. It has a TAC4i suspension system on it, just like the JLTV, that brings the proven reliability of the JLTV. So I think that suspension really gives you that mobility, what a lot of Special Forces vehicles don't have, because it's really the platform can do better than the crew. Oh, that's, this, this gives that capability back. Well, and that platform does so many things for you. First of all, it enables high speed over complex terrain. Secondly, it provides a very smooth platform as a firing platform for any number of weapon systems. And thirdly, it contributes to, to lack of crew fatigue once on the objective. So that, that, that suspension is really, really critical to the success of our systems. So I think most people don't realize mobility is the one area where there is a major change in growth, and it looks like you've got it on this vehicle. Right, that's absolutely right. And we're delighted to be able to offer customers that high commonality with JLTV because it does bring that proven reliability and secondly it reduces logistics costs by by having common components and it's got a high ground appearance by the look of it it does have a, a very high uh, a very high ground clearance it, it enables uh, it enables it's one thing that enables uh, mobility over complex terrain. Yeah. This vehicle has a CITS, which is one of the number of options you offer the customer. Again, that contributes to the great mobility of the truck, is having the CTIS system. And it's currently undergoing company trials. Are there any uh, SF, SF trials earmarked for the future? It's, got, it's undergone extensive company testing. It's also been trialed in a Mideastern co uh, country in 2014. It was tried very successfully, but we still consider this a technical demonstrator. This is the only one that we've built. We, uh, we have it on the, the floor here at Sofex because we're, we're very interested in getting voice of the customer back on this platform. We'll take comments and feedback that we're getting. We'll put it in back into the design cycle. And when we have the opportunity to present this to a customer in the future, it will it will have those those uh, the voice of the customer built in. The thing about special forces, they often have budgets to to purchase things very quickly. But no SF want the same thing. They very all want different packaging, different weapons, different storage. Right. So if you've got a vehicle which meets that flexibility. Right. This vehicle is configurable. We can tailor it to customer any number of customer requirements. As it sits on the floor today, of course, it's unarmored. We could put an armor package on it to give it both a ballistic and an under body protection we can we can add more armament to it we can put any combination of of uh, of arms on the roof of the vehicle so we can tailor it to whatever the customer requires thanks very much Bobby. we look forward to following that with interest thank you